Good morning, everybody. Uh, so, uh, welcome to the uh, first morning episode of Muckin' About Feed the Beast Edition. This is, I believe, uh, episode three now? Uh, episode three, season one. And I figured it was about time you guys saw what we were doing. Um, so, uh, here's an MFSU. Isn't it pretty cool? Isn't it nice? <laughs> Uh, so this is basically our uh, little power generator thing here, and uh, we have a generator just hooked up from old time's sake that probably needs to be upgraded to another uh, thermal uh, generator. Uh, but as you can see, we've started taking the uh, we we know how to work our IC2 stuff. Um, so this guarantees that all these machines can take up to four packets per tick. Uh, that's all we have right now because we just have the one MFSU, so it goes to a medium voltage. This will split the uh, 512 into uh, four packets. Actually, uh, sorry, we have 16 coming out. Uh, so this will split it into four packets of uh, 128. Then the uh, four packets of 128 will each go into one of the uh, low voltage uh, transformers. And out the other side here, mm, excuse me, wow, one of those mornings. Uh, but out the other side here, we, uh, uh oh. Uh, but out the other side here, we will be getting four packets of low voltage. So four from here, there, there, and there. So that'll be 16 coming down this pipe. That means we can run any of these machines uh, with 512 uh, potentially EU per tick. Uh, <laughs> so we have the overclocker, they just go through. But this will run any machine, any machine. Uh, 512 EU per tick right now with just the single MFSU. And it will never have to worry about blowing up, getting too much power, or anything like that. So uh, this is a temporary setup. Uh, the dirt probably gave that part away. <laughs> Let me see. Do I have my jetpack on? No, I don't. There we go. Let's. Uh... Wow, really? No coal. Seriously. Ah, do 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 do. In and in. In, 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 in. Ah, uh, so, explaining all this crap I have on me. Or actually, let me just explain more of where we are. Uh, this is the machine room. This is where we're going to be doing all the machinery. Holy sherbert. So, I guess Sketchy has done a little automation last night. This stuff is new. Uh, empty. Empty, empty. Uh, none of this is working right now. Because it is out of biomass for some reason. We've got a hell of a lot more apple juice, that's for sure. Alright, so the wood goes in there, I'm assuming. The apple should be coming down here, and uh, very few of them for some reason. Uh, that is on, unfortunately. A little bit of lava. Not enough biomass, maybe? I mean, technically, these should be working. Oh, it's probably not enough biomass to make a full dump into there. So I know how to fix this. I just want to make sure it's worth fixing first. So uh, I'm going to need a wrench here. So uh, temporarily, we have... Uh, Ah, uh, so temporarily, this is actually, here, let me give you guys the official tour. Alright, so this is our initial starting cave. Uh, this was a cave that uh, Sin found, we all kind of moved into it with him. Um... We have just our basic storage chests, you know, food, tree, stuff like that. Uh, this has just become the dump whatever I feel like it in a chest, as long as it's not food, trees, and going into a different chest. This is all of our gems, our books here, those should not be in there. 
Uh, as you can see, diamonds aren't really a problem. Emeralds a little bit, a little bit. And uh, the reason why is actually here. Is uh, primitive mobs gives us these traveling merchants. And you know, they've been selling us pages. Like that. Although I see we have most of these already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're saving up for like this guy. He has emerald, or he has glass, and this guy over here has the diamond ore page. So that's pretty nice. And actually, the diamond ore page is fairly common from what we've seen so far. Uh, we have a bit of our cube juice here. A little bit of our setup. There's a uh, our induction smelter. What the? That's not how you do it. That's not how you do it. Ah. Uh, so we need some sand. Put the sand in there. Take the copper out. And yeah, there's like barely enough sand in there to even finish what's already there. But we'll make it a little easier on it. There we go. That'll do a little bit of work. Uh, these automatically dump out to the chest in front of them. Which is where I want to put all this stuff now. Ah, nice. We are constantly, consistently, and almost always out of iron. Uh, if you saw in the machine room, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, you'll see, uh, our, again, in a little bit, there's a very good reason as to why that is. But uh, So this is just our basic little setups up here. We don't run this this often. We've noticed there's some performance issues with the COG stuff. But this is the uh, cog setup from the, uh, what is it, cogs of the machine uh, mod. And, you know, you got your little pounder here. Get you the rock. Little foundry. This thing was pretty cool. And there's the crafting table that kind of makes everything. It all spins around, does its things. Here's some uh, bibliocraft going. Uh, Krikus's portal gun. That's the, the Peabody porty gun. I got an atlas. Uh, Sin has a potato. No, no, don't really. Huh. Okay. Back door out. There we go. Uh, down here. We have the entrance to our mines. Uh, one shaft of this was dug out with a pick. The other shaft of it was dug out with some of the clockwork items. That goes down to a uh, mine shaft. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Oh. Little bedroom. Someone's stiff. Crescent hammer. I wonder if that's my crescent hammer. Uh, that's actually one of the things I came down here for. <laughs> was to uh, get my crescent hammer. We'll go take a peek at that in a little moment here. So, uh, oh, we used to have our creosote oven here. It kind of moved up to the other forest. There's the crescent hammer, though. And here's just a hiding place for other stuff. I do have those books. Yep. There we go. Sharpness 5. We have some pretty nice enchantment books sitting here. And I'm just going to dump some of this stuff into here for now. Uh, we desperately are in need of a storage system to avoid the random dumping that we're seeing here. Uh, it just doesn't always work out that way. So our bookcase filled with tons of books. Here's some thrown out mist ages, some uh, extra books that are just lying around. We even got a little bit of crystal here. There's our notebook. And here are our pages. Uh, our sorting method so far is kind of crappy. Uh, it's kind of based off of the old one, uh, the old way things worked. And there are just so many more pages now that we need to, uh, we need to rework these books a little bit. But, uh, we got quite a few things, you know. Crystals, caves, ravines, tendrils, strongholds, skylands, and world. Uh, here's all the colors that we have. 
Spruce wood, rising ice, rising, do, 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 end, end world. So that's a time. It kind of goes with rising. Uh, end stone is a material. Goes with the coal ore. Same with the ice. Mm -mm -mm. Just the different modifiers we have. So as you can see, our storage needs to be updated a little bit. <laughs> Let me finish sorting stuff away here. Uh, coal. Where would we put coal? Ah, over here. But do 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 do. do. Uh, these guys and those guys. Screw the seeds. Those are easy enough to get just about everywhere. Slime balls, cool. Got quite a few saddles in here already. The food. Let's check and see what the bag has in it. Oh, oh, more pages, more pages. Those are actually all duplicates. Uh, 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 get rid of that mossy. So, Skylands setting, setting bright and noon. So, setting goes with rising. Oops. Setting, setting. Features as a Skylands. Yep. Bright. Noon goes with setting. Ah, there we go. Sort those pages. One less thing to put away. So, uh, out here, we have our classic rubber tree started. Still needs one more piece before we can finish off the leaves. Got a... Uh, just cactus all over the place so we can start getting it down. And we're going to start needing to... Oh, I hate when that happens. I'm going to need to start harvesting this stuff a little bit more regularly. Uh, uh, do, do, do. So the nether portal over here was actually a uh, day one construction. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, this... Uh, Sin and I went and got some, um, what are they called, nether bricks and soul sand to make the uh, blast furnace so we could get straight into steel because they're needed for these tools here and such. But let's go up. Here is our farms. As you can see, we have a pretty huge flax farm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So down here, I guess, is a... Uh, where our golems are doing it. <laughs> and this is a bit of a replica of my farm in the uh, Muckin server. I believe if we... Uh, I, I don't want to screw it up here. There's a little guy. Nice little gold chest in the center. Nice. <laughs> so there we go. Um, so I got some golems I've been working. That's pretty cool. Got our nether wart, we got flax, we got, I believe, potatoes, yep. And then we have a uh, upper, or a lower and an upper wheat field, and a carrot field. <laughs> and I'm actually going to steal some of these.
Alright, do a quick little replant, although nothing's ever really quick. Well, then we're going to take these over to that uh, induction furnace and cook us off some tater tots real quick. There's probably a bag for these. So not bad. Not a full harvest, but a little bit over a, uh, a stack of potatoes nonetheless. Uh, this ends up giving you like five stacks of string. So it's harvest only when you really, really, really need string. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, next to the nether portal, we of course have our uh, our uh, twilight forest portal. And I'm sure people have seen this stuff. Uh, we're still using the version of twilight forest that has the crash in it. Oh. That looks like it needs a refresh there. There we go. I don't think we've been back here to uh, harvest stuff in a while. Be good loot chests. Pretty empty. Pretty empty. Uh, excuse me again. I'm just not having a great morning for uh, speaking clearly. Nose is all a little stuffy. And I think I drank my orange juice a little too fast this morning. The hell? <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of eggs. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not too bad. And then in the time it took... <laughs> uh, and the time it took to uh, throw three stacks of eggs, we already had another few eggs here. Uh, this is actually the site of my original little place. You guys know me. I I find a uh, little cove and stick a bed down, and that's about it. I guess one of my chests are gone, but the other one's still here. Uh, we got a little bit of a birch farm here. I did travel really far to find all that stuff. This is actually my nightlight. Is my bed was here, and it was what would give me lights. Nah, water wouldn't be able to get rid of it and such. But actually, here, let me go back to the base, and we'll just go up the stairs here. So this was our first start of a real construction. Uh, this is a staircase based on what I've seen in Ethos videos, and I thought just the the combination came out really nice. So always kind of uh, did this off. So it goes up and around, and here's where we're going to be building an inn. Uh, the inn is going to be kind of an L-shaped, and I think we're mostly waiting on materials right now, as uh, we saw the different types of wood and stuff there are. Now, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, just wood would do it. Uh, it's so hard to see through in the micro blocks sometimes oh. anywho uh, let me see if I can find dark wood canopy so that's all twilight foresty stuff Looking for the forestry woods. There we go. So we were looking at the different colors here of these types of blocks. Um, the ebony wood looks pretty good. I think there was a, a wenge. New wenge. Thought that looked pretty good. Uh, so we're just uh, this kind of got put on hold for sake of trying to get some neater uh, colors of lumber and such. But we will have to be building this pretty soon. The idea is to get a, you know, a nice little uh, inny type place based on loosely on a design that uh, Sinless put together many, many maps ago. But for now, uh, when we put this in, 
we uh, had a little thumb crash station up on the top here and we couldn't uh, remove access to it so built the staircase as soon as we finished carving out the uh... Shh. <laughs> so built the staircase as soon as we finished carving out the place for the inn so you could still access it uh, these are our riding warthogs and my vulture and here's Wilbur he's, he's behind here let me just hover around the edge uh, we don't really have a, a stables or anything yet so this is just the place we uh, kinda tucked them away so they're safe these are our riding warthogs though they're not they don't seem to be 100% reliable uh, like a pig is but they're still fun so the staircases go all the way up to here hello Ooh, side of an enderman and uh, the staircase will be extended once this gets a little bit more robustly built but for now this is just our uh, temporary little uh, thumbcraft area and uh, Zarek's house he's the one that's been doing all the thumbcrafty stuff got that hmm oops there's gotta be like water or something underneath there ah uh, lava netherrack netherrack that works too Infinite water source, although not optimal, still looks cool. <laughs> so uh, this is our thumb craftiness area, and now going to fall this way. Ah, this way. Signs of sketchy. So what we've been using to get around so far have been uh, the jetpacks and a, a little haphazard portal system here. But this is back up to the uh, the machine room, which actually started us looking around and seeing how nice of a view we actually have here and how this construction really works and just kind of weaves its way around. I mean, there's the, uh, the thumbcraft room. This is just uh, where the inn is going over there. The portals on the side that uh, stone area that's been exposed that's going to be our storage room um, I've been I used this guy to went around uh, I got it out of a uh, chest in a miscraft world actually and just went around and removed all the stones so we could kind of see where that's going to go uh, maybe use my turtles over there for a uh, uh, first good test of them but uh, this is why we're almost always out of iron is uh, we have creeper heads and the creeper heads are going to be backed by tanks that have 10 million storage these are 9 by 9 by 8 tanks I believe they are the largest type of tank that you can make uh, alright you know what hold on a second I'm getting a cough drop I will be right back All right, there we go. Sorry about the cough drop in my mouth, but I am sick of all the sniffles. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, so um, this one we're filling up with biomass, and as you can see, it has reached the one block mark, which is that topper dark line there. Topper, the upper dark line there. So one, two million biomass. Uh, so uh, we got the crescent hammer to uh, let this loose. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. That'll fill up. We can turn that off. And now we just take a bucket and we jump start the biomass engines. There we go. It'll start pumping. These will start working again. Going down, down, down. Generating a little bit of biomass. Eventually, this guy will fill up to a bucket. Yep, yep, there it went. 
and he'll start going again. So the system does stall. Uh, it doesn't stall all the time. Ooh, we're actually low on mulch. I didn't even know that was ever possible. Boy. <laughs> but nothing in the top is telling me that this is, uh... This is missing the, uh, the, uh... Whatchamacallit... The, uh, the far the forestry farm. Uh, we have a multi-block farm for the forestry stuff. And I just want to... Almost there. I wish it would give you the amounts that it's full. I mean, it gives you the little gates and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you really never see very accurate results in, like, a gas tank or anything like that. There we go. Now they're both going. The speed of this should really kick up. There we go. There we go. So, uh, going to come over here. And... Potato. Uh, do, 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 do. That can go in there. And this is just a temporary thing, so we'll put those back in there. Cooking down our dinner. And... Done. Let's keep this thing being efficient here. Yeah! Jeez! <laughs> oh, it's full again. Full again. So, uh, this has not been a very high priority for us. And this is what we do. Ta-da! <laughs> so it'll go and make more creosote this way. Oop. <laughs> ah, but onward with the tour! Onward with the tour! So, bam! Here is Sketchy's huge ass farm. Uh, mm, 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 and it does look like these are out of fuel. Yep. Out and out. Storage is still pretty good, actually, so if we could just bring up some biomass, this would work again. There's the start of the ender chestiness. So, let's run out here. Oh, my bed. Ta-da, I moved it up here. <laughs> this is a bit of a slow process right now. The intent is actually to have the biomass made up in uh, this area up by the tree farms and then uh, transport it back down here uh, into the tanks oops there we go uh, what we found though is the uh, the biomass engines those two run the uh, run the tree farm uh, with more power than it actually needs. Runs it for a pretty good while, too. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see if uh, we can borrow some wax from Krikus here. So those of you who have watched many of my videos, We'll recognize Krikus' place. He's been working on the bees for us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Wax. Yay. Mm -mm -mm. So, four, really? Did I just, <laughs> did I do that? There we go. Put that one back. You'll never know it was gone. 
But he's our source of ink right now, <laughs> believe it or not. These are uh, stained bees now, I guess. I don't want to go through too much. Uh, I, I would swap them over and such, but I'm not sure if he's in the middle of breeding them in an upgraded fashion or uh, exactly how he's doing it, so I, I don't want to mess up his uh, his bees. He's got a good start, though. Mm -mm -mm. Watery propolis. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Nice. All right, so we now have the uh, some capsules here. I'm just going to run over and grab some biofuel. Doesn't get much easier than that. But we're actually uh, coming up on the end of the tour here. Oh, full and full. Look at how he's got to be going through the... Uh, yep, there we go. It's getting through the apple juice now. Mm-mm-mm. This will make it easier. There we go. What? Oh. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I forgot there's a bug with this. And we are back. Uh, as you can see, the biomass was here, but the capsules don't show up when you load them up like that. I don't really know why. I've never bothered trying to figure that out. Uh, I just relog. <laughs> Whee! Up we go! Could have used a faith plate, but I didn't. So knowing how these work, uh, I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... The rest go in here. I'm going to only give this one 10. So just and just we'll have a full run on it. Uh, the rest, however, will stay. There's the aqueous accumulator, so it stays full of food. Or stays full of water. Uh, it's got all the stuff here. Now, we shouldn't actually see anything in here. Good, good, good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we found our faith plates are not good at launching us back downwards. So this one will launch us up. But there's no smooth way to get us back down. Bink, bink. There we go. And what we should see in here is... Uh, I was hoping for more than that. Some sand, some apples, zip, some lumber, come on saplings, we're almost out, come on, there we go, a sapling, down, over, 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 over. It's down to the last one. Get in there. Get in there. Do it. Yeah. So this is basically how the system is going to be working. I mean, uh, got the juice there. The juice will store up. Uh, it is eventually going to run out. Like, uh, we're getting pretty low on it right now, actually. This is uh, where, you know, you just take the wrench and you're just preparing is all. Uh, we use that. And just flick this back on. That'll fill the pipe up with water and it will just swap over to using the water and let the, uh, the apple cider or apple juice build back up on its own again. I'm going to snag that mulch put it in there to be prepped for down below and you know what go go gadget sugarcane <laughs> I know I said we needed that for books and uh, our paper and stuff like that and we kinda do 
Oops. Uh, so basically, though, this is uh, this is it. This is what we have. Um, let me uh, show you guys. Actually, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. We'll do a lava run real quick. I'll show you guys the Nether. Oh, hello, moth. How's it doing, buddy? Isn't your torch over here? Go, 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 go to your torch, man. Go to your torch. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so just uh, seven. This isn't too bad. Not a lot. Ooh. Way too much charcoal. Way too much charcoal. Coal dust, carbon plates, charcoal dust, coal dust. Hydrated coal? New. No. New. No. Ah, oh, did it again. Because the project table does not like to cooperate. Ah, mm -mm -mm. uh, compressor. Let's steal from there. <laughs> what? Is this just double it up again? Wow, it's been such a long time. There we go. Uh, uh, Zerk's new to the server. Uh, he's been playing on the mucking about and here. Uh, so he's usually on this time of the day. As uh, we are fairly... We're fairly spread out, you know. Uh, it's always been neat playing with people from all around the world. And so I get on the morning and it's his evening. i uh, play for a little bit. And then uh, when it's my evening, he'll get back on in his morning. <laughs> so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. The hell? There was. There was a portal there. Not that one. I believe that one takes you over to Krakus's place. Alright, I'll just walk. Oh! Well, oh, hey! Yeah! <laughs> so over to the nether we go. We'll just fill up uh, seven cells real quick. This will get us a little bit of a. Uh, little bit of uh, energy here. Screw you, Ghast. Yeah, screw you. So, no lava pumping system yet. I'm sure one will be done fairly soon. But... Ah, uh, suppose a tour. And here we are. Look at this. Isn't this all nice? Stupid fire bat's gonna blow up the portal. Hate that thing. Hate that thing. Ah. Uh, so, if I recall... Yep, we found uh, a huge... Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. Okay, guys, not gonna stay. But we found a huge nether fort over there, but I don't have a bow. I don't feel like dealing with that guy. Screw him. <laughs> Done. Let 
let's just put these little lava cells back. And there we go. Uh, this is basically a tour of everything that we have currently, uh, the projects that are going on. Uh, I just wanted to show off the scale that we're building, and I thought this was pretty cool. Oh, no, nah, it can't be that guy. Could be that guy. I don't think it's that guy. Hello. But I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'm actually going to swap over to the other server and uh, do a little recording over there as well. So I um, hope you guys enjoy this little tour. Just kind of see what we're all up to and such. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Which, if you're watching both sets of videos, we'll be in a little bit. <laughs> Have a good one.